Hello, hello everybody, this is Kiru Show here. Now, before I begin, my schedule got changed for work, so I will be able to post a bit more videos this week than I originally thought. Now, that is a good thing, but the bad part is, on, I believe, Thursday, I need to recheck my schedule. I'm going to have to wake up very early in the morning, so I will not be able to record until probably around 3 o'clock. That is my time. Because I do know my friend is a couple hours behind me, Rory23, and for him it's not even 8 o'clock. Now then, I do believe most of my viewers are actually in America, so a time somewhat schedule, it's, um, it's, you guys, I hope you guys know what I'm trying to say. I'm very tired. Now, when we last left off, Deku just doused five people in gasoline and had Karashima kill them by striking a road flare and setting them ablaze. Now then, whew, let us pick up with Deku directly after the incident. Now, this is what all from would tell Deku. He saw the broadcast, and it was lovely, in fact. He didn't actually think he would just let Kirishima do it himself, though. That part was very annoying. Ah, uh, well, I wanted to at least test him. Test him? That video we recorded, we did it behind your back. Oh, really? Go on. Ah, <sighs> that video... Basically, we had Shinsho here. Uh, Shinsho would just raise his hand. Mind control Bok well, mind control Karashima to kill that guy. After that, we kind of just, you know, from there. Now, this is whenever he would just go on saying, so, you do make plans, but you don't share them. Well, Want to make a good impression on you, boss. Ah. Well, I do have to say, it, it's working. All Might's head in most of Class 1A. Quite intriguing. <sighs> Along with the fact that you've managed to also get one for all back onto my, into my hands. Yeah. We're all pretty good. Now. All for one would just say that they've earned some time off. In fact, they probably have a while until they call them again, so just try laying low. Kind of hard to lay low when I take out... Let's see. How long has it been? The past month, I believe. I've already killed over 20,000 people. Taken out a third of the city. Destroyed a hero memorial and torched... Basically took down a skyscraper. More city block. Now, Deku, he would immediately watch as a portal opens up in front of them, and Deku would just look through, as it's his hideout. He would just immediately just bring his hand up as they would all walk through. Now then, all for one would just tell Karagiri to basically start looking into this project. Karagiri would actually do so. Now, basically he's calling it I actually don't have a name for this, but I will figure it out. Now, basically, that's all happening. I would give it away if I said it. <clears throat> now then, while that's going on, Deku's guys are basically watching as he would walk through with Mina and two new people. They would somewhat get ready with guns as Deku would basically just put his hand up. Everyone, these are guests. Not just that. One of them's a long friend, or a long lost friend. We're finally reunited with, along with a new one. People would just start immediately start clapping as Deku would just introduce Karashima. <sighs> new one since well, a long, new one for a long time, Karashima, and a recent new friend, but already a good ally, Shinsho. 
as people immediately just start basically walking them to the, the family, basically. Deku would immediately just walk into a connecting door as to well, Todoroki. Why was I going to say Todoroki? Jesus Christ. As Kirishima and Shinsho, uh, I'm looking down at, I've been staring down at this paper for a solid two minutes. Um, stupid. Shinsho and Kirishima would watch as this entire place is decked out. It's got a kitchen, it's got an entire dining section, it's got a TV, it's got a couch, it's a big room. You could mistake this for an apartment if it weren't for the noise. Now, Deku, he would just say that that's kind of the point. Give the illusion. Now then, they have a guest room they can stay in. What? Yeah, you guys can stay in the guest room. Usually we just pass on the couch. Why? For watching movies. Yeah, we call it our movie night. Okay. Alright, well, we can at least get you guys... Uh... Hang on, as Deku, he immediately just walks into his room and starts looking through his drawer. He finds some of his old vigilante stuff and will just toss Kirishima basically what looks like... It's basically like a black sweatpants and he would just toss and show another pair. Saying that they're going to have to chill out in these at least for a while. Until they basically get some good sizes on them. Crap, we should have had you twice use his quirk. What? Who? The guy with the mask who looks so fucking crazy. What's his quirk? I have no idea, but when I figure it out, it might be fun. All I know is he just wears these tape measuring things. I think he was a tailor. Really? Yeah, probably. Anyways, as Deku just claps his hands together saying, Tomorrow they'll be training more with those quirks. In fact... We are also going to be doing a little bit of reconnaissance and searching. Searching? For what? Not for what. As Deku, he immediately just walks into the next room and instructs them to come in. They would see this room and it's entirely just what the hell. Because there's no table, there's no anything, it's just a giant wall from... It's basically like if you were looking at... Hmm. It's like if you were looking at the side of a truck. It's just nothing but that entire area is just covered and completely scattered with just news clippings, papers, anything connected to the ghost. Or what people call the decaying ghost. Since any time it appears recently... It's either being connected to ground, well, ground Zero, King Nothing, or just essentially the ghost. Because there's CCTV cameras about these nights and how they don't add up. Because the crime, when it was committed, there was basically a live stream, or the live news broadcast, of Deku and his crew. Now, Deku would just go on saying that this is going to be their next challenge. They haven't had some decent time off in a while. So there's new information we need to gather. Along with the fact that I did have to make contact with someone again. <sighs> Yay. So, how are we doing this? Well, that's just the thing. Most of my guys are public, but I do have them get me some disguise equipment. Disguise? Yeah. Okay, Red. I have a question. How about a new color? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, no, I'm not. You stick out like a sore thumb. Shinsho, how about you? Why do you need to cut off that star on your head? Are you serious? Yes, both of you. Mina would just say that that's... Basically, you wouldn't recognize Deku if you saw him. Along with that... Finding out what happened to Mr. Shigaraki, it is basically incredibly important to them. Now, they wouldn't believe this until later on that night. They're basically all sitting down, watching TV as 
Mina is basically her. Well, she's basically making dinner. Now, Deku is actually in the in there helping her as they would do so. They would all sit down, somewhat like a family, but still with a lot of awkward tension between them. Now, they would all eventually just pass out as it's nothing but them sitting on the couch. Now then, with that, this is whenever strange occurrences would begin happening in the entire, well, apartment, as you can say. Deku, he would just start having his night terrors. The world crumbling around him, everything being set on fire. Not just that, he sees Mina, Kirishima, and Shinsho actually being pulled away, if not his entire crew just being mercifully murdered. Now, as this is happening, he immediately just jerks awake as he is immediately in shock and in constant fear of what he's looking at in front of him. He sees Mr. Shigaraki basically sticking his head out of the TV. As he immediately just shakes someone awake, they would all get up as they are seeing what's going on. They're just watching as Mr. Shigaraki's head, it went from being in the TV to the TV just immediately just turning on and it disappearing. Now, as soon as that happens, Deku, he immediately gets up, rips off his glove, and immediately just super speeds into the room he had. As he does so, he actually finds that the room is intact. But it's just, the lock has been rotted off, if not rusted off. Deku just immediately just walks back in, saying, is this enough proof? What the fuck was that? I'm not sure, but that's why we—that's why they call him the decaying ghost. Not just that. These these night terrors are back. Night terrors? What do you mean? I usually stick with him. This is one reason why we always fall asleep on the couch. Do you want to ex explain more to them? Ever since I've gotten this thing from Mister Shigaraki, is he would immediately just point to the camera sitting on the counter. Ever since I've had that, I've just felt and seen and had all these crazy things happen to me. So, why don't you just get rid of the camera? I can't. Why? Because they, they only intensified and got worse afterward. I've been having them for a while. I only just started remembering them after I got it. So, okay, you're confusing me now. He says he's always been waking up in a cold sweat, just one, never being able to remember why. Until he would see Mr. Shigaraki outside his room, and apparently, this is the first time he's been in the room with us. Not just that, the fact that you all saw him told me it was real. <sighs> Fuck. Karashima would immediately walk over and pick up the camera. He would immediately just harden one of his hands as he just holds it above it, saying that if... If this is the problem, then he can get rid of it. Don't you dare. Why? At least, if this is at least the problem, then at least to take out the film. Why? I don't think that's going to work. Why? Or how? Well, he left it for you, right? There's got to be something inside of it worth essentially looking at. What do you mean? Well, it's like, um, one of those mystery puzzles, right? I think that's what those are called, but this isn't a puzzle, then. <sighs> Karashima, if we break this and there's nothing inside, I am going to take one of your hands. You know what? You've tried taking my life already, so I really don't want to make this bet. But, do you still want me to get rid of it, at least? Yes. <sighs> okay, I hope you're right about this, then. I trust you. As Karashima would see, Deku's actually serious. Deku would just immediately just ask, turn, well, set it back down on the table as he tells, turns his head away, telling Karashima to just do it. <sighs> okay. Three... Two, as Kirishima says one and immediately just begins bringing his hand down. 
he just immediately just breaks the camera as Deku turns around looking at this. He's angry and really wants to attack Kirishima, but Kirishima would just point out that, wait, what is this? As he sees an extra line of film. This this wasn't in here before. Wait, didn't didn't you t say you take took out the film? No, I didn't. But even then, there were no pictures on it. Look at these. As they are watching and looking at all everything inside. I'm gonna need to develop these soon then. As Mina actually just look through it a bit more and sees that there is actually a note. To whom it may concern. The man did ask one last wish. If not, one more thing. He asked that I do this one favor for him. Along with write a letter, letter to some boy. Saying these words. I am not one to deny last request, but this was an odd one. I'm not sure why he even thought of it. Now, you will need to search at this address on this street. As Deku's basically looking at it, he finds that that's only, basically, it's halfway across town, but with super speed, that's basically only five minutes away. Deku's reading this as he's in shock. Th this is... What? No, that, that can't be right. Now, Deku, he is still trying to figure this out. Okay, so, what is going on? As Deku and Mina would basically sit down and explain what's been going on with Mr. Shigaraki and who he is to Shinsho. Shinsho's really confused and in shock as he would just say, so, a dad? He's not my dad. Not biologically, but... Fuck, where is my dad? Hmm. Questions for later. Now. Deku. <sighs> He's immediately just thinking that whatever this is, it has got to be bad. But it at least gives them a little insight as to what happened to Mr. Shigaraki. Along with the fact that he would eventually develop the pictures, but he's afraid to look at them. As he knows what might be on them. Now then. Ooh. Deku. He would eventually do so as Shinsho and Kirishima are with Deku. Mina is basically putting on a pot of coffee. As they're doing so. As he would get the f photos developed, he would eventually find that what is on them is not only pictures of gravestones, the graveyard, there is also a few pictures of Mr. Shigaraki, and also a street address. Just a picture in single frame of a street address. Now, he would also see another picture. He would see that there is a picture of a monster. You cannot make it out in the darkness, but whatever this thing is, you can clearly tell from the camera angle that he was running from it. Whoever took this picture may not have actually survived. Even if they did, they probably only got a couple minutes left alive, because whatever was chasing them definitely got them. As the next picture was just a picture of a bloody puddle. The camera is basically set right next to it. Horrible and disgusting looking. Now, Deku, he would be looking at these as he's even more curious. <sighs> okay. Well, we're all awake then, right? Yeah, barely. Alright, let's at least train and then we can go figure out what this is. Also, let's let's put disguises on you too. As Deku would immediately go find his hair dye. Now then. <sighs> I actually just want to disguise these two and then I'm just going to go to bed.
Anyways, Deku would basically find a disguise for Karashima, which is basically dyeing his hair blonde and basically giving him contact lenses, along with basically having him wear a bandana, if not at least put on a pair of sunglasses. Shinsho is a bit different as you could just dye his hair black or dye his hair red or do something stupid like that. I think I've never seen Shinsho with like blonde hair or black hair. I'm picturing that now. I just see Aizawa. Illuminati confirmed. Anyways. Now. I want to say for Shinsho, you basically just like... Get that boy a proper night's rest. Along with the fact that you could just put... Well, you could put makeup on him to get rid of that look on his face. Dye his hair, dye his eyebrows, and actually just like... Get him something to cover his mouth and his eyes. <sighs> Along with the fact that if you do get something to cover his mouth like a bandana, you can basically hide the his support item, which is basically that voice modifier. So basically you can mimic voices. Now, with that, they would eventually do so and they would all begin training. As in the next part, I will be covering what is going on at this location. Now, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed. I am very tired. <laughs>